for the farm. New at 5.30, Action News Jack's Don Lopez shows us the plan to take the farmer out of the tractor. John Deere says that this machine can help make farmers' jobs much easier. It looks like a tractor you've seen before, but closer look, the self-driving tractor has been in the works for about 25 years. Yeah, but you're not saying you're killing the farmer. ...to, to tractors, uh, and now from man tractors to autonomous tractors. This is definitely a very important point in our... You're taking away jobs. ...bring more automation to agriculture. And Shut up. Step of that automation is autonomy. We can help make sure that the critical work is done on the farm when it needs to be done. Looks like you've eaten on the farm too many times. It needs to be done in order to grow all of the food for a growing population. With a growing this is killing the farmer. Says that the self-driving tractor helps make that easier for farmers, especially since it can not only be time-consuming, but difficult, too. Agriculture is outdoor manufacturing. But nothing is consistent in the field. Soil types are different. Moisture is different. Elevation is different. And so in order to get the job done with skilled labor on time and consistently, it, it takes a lot. It and was getting done on time. Solve those problems to help farmers be more timely, be more efficient, and also support their quality of life. With six cameras providing 360-degree views and knowing the field's parameters, farmers can now put their focus on another part of their work or onto their families. Farmers can use their phone to monitor the progress and see how well the field is being tilled. The company says that by the fall, between 10 and 50 autonomous tillage machines will be running in the United States, primarily in the upper Midwest. In the studio, Don Lopez, Action News Jacks. Bunch of bullshit, people. Bullshit.